Okay, question five. We have to solve this system of linear differential equations. And they're given the second values in the matrix. So this is like a coupled thing. We need to decouple it by diagonalizing. And the diagonalizing is going to be helped a little bit by the fact that they've given us lagging values. So to be more precise, what we're going to do is we're going to say, well, we have this system, which I'm going to call the system x dash equals ax plus b then we can say what we say let x equal py yeah we say if x equals py then we have a py plus p and here we have py dash because p is just a constant constant matrix is still a constant times both sides by the inverse of p and now you'll have y dash equals p inverse ap, which is d. It's y plus, and here we have p inverse. D. And so that allows us to solve, that will allow us to solve for y dash. And then to get x from the y we have, we just use x equals py. So we're going to need to calculate p to get this to work uh, and also the inverse of p okay so we know that I can, so we have nine values that are minus 16 or 4 okay, so we have a is minus 11 15 5 minus 1 yes minus 11 15 5 minus 1 uh, D is these are the eigenvalues of minus sixteen and four. It's gonna be D. Is that right? So this is what we said. Minus sixteen and four, minus eleven fifteen, five minus one, yes. Uh, so now we actually need to do calculate P. So We need to calculate eigenvectors. So oh, the first one is if lambda equals minus 16, then we have minus 11 minus minus 16 is 5, 15, 5, minus 1 plus 16 is 15. So V equals zero. Um, so that means that V can be um, an eigenvector could be three minus one. And if we have lambda equals four, then we have minus eleven minus 4 is minus 15, 15, 5, minus 1, minus 4 is minus 5. So I can vector for this one is, could be um, 1, 1, yes, okay. okay. So that means that P equals 3 minus 1, 1, 1. Uh, so the inverse of P then is, you take the determinant, which is 3 plus 1 is f quarter, what's well, 4, you put a 1 over 4, then you, here we need the conjugate transverse matrix. So the, co uh, the conjugate of the cofactor matrix, so the cofactor of 3, the cofactor of 3 is 1, transpose, the cofactor of 3 is 1, transpose this, cofactor of 3 is 1, cofactor of 1 is 3, the cofactor of, of the one at the top right is minus 1 times minus 1. It's minus 1, but then there's a minus because it's off the diagonal. And 
the cofactor of minus 1 is 1, but then there's a minus, okay? Then you transpose that to get 1 minus 1, 1, 3. Uh, should check, does that work? Uh, 3, 3, 1 times 1, you get 4, one, you get m minus 3, 3, 0. You get mi minus 1, so 1, 0. You get 1 plus 3, 4. Yes, that is correct. Okay, so if all those things are like that, then we do know that P inverse A, P equals D. Okay. So now we have the vector equation, sorry, we have the, the matrix differential equation x dash equals ax plus b, where b was, what was b? b was 1, 1, I think. Yeah, okay. So now we're going to, we're going to let let x equal p y. Okay, so then we have p y dash equals a p y plus b. Then we times both sides by inverse of p, and you get y dash equals inverse of p a p y plus inverse of p times b. But that's just d. That's going to be d times this p thing. So, so what? So, this d is d was minus sixteen four times y plus what is quarter one minus one. 1, 3 times 1, 1. So that's. You, if you write this now as like y1 dash, y2 dash, we have minus 16 y1, 4 y2, plus. Here we have quarter times 1 minus 1 is 0, 1 plus 3 is 4, so it's, you know, with 4 there, 4 divided by 4 times a quarter is 1, so it's 0, 1. Okay, so that gives us a differential equation for y1, and a differential equation for y2. y1 is very easy to solve. y1 equals... Uh, you just write down um, scalar times e to the minus 16 and then some variable t and then y2 is more complicated because you've got to use it's like the integrating factor sort of thing so you have like y2 dash minus 4y2 equals 1 you can rearrange it like that then we want to try and make the left hand side into the result of a product rule. So we have this minus extra minus 4, so we want to times both sides by e to the minus 4t. e to the minus 4t, y2 dash minus 4, e to the minus 4t, y2 equals e to the minus 4t. Then that should be the result of using the product rule on this, right? Yes. So you can integrate both sides. e to the minus 40. y2 equals e to the minus 40 plus some constant c. Um, oh, then times throughout by e to the 40. And you get c e to the 4t. I should check that that really is the solution because if that's what y2 is, y2 dash is 4 e to the 4t. And so then y2 dash is 4t.
4e to the 4t minus 4 times y2, which is 1 plus ce to the 4t. Ah, I've made a mistake. When I integrated this e to the minus 4t, actually you need a quarter there. You need a minus quarter, actually. Yeah. Minus a quarter. Y2 dashes, yes, that stays the same. Um, but here we have minus a quarter. So this, you get the 4e to the 4t. Wait a second. I let out the c here. My two dashes for c e to the 4t. But yes, okay. Uh, my two dashes for c e to the 4t. So now we have 4c to the 4t, and you have minus 4c to the 4t there. But to cancel out, then you have plus 4 times quarters, which is indeed 1. So yeah, so that is indeed a solution. So why, in other words, y2 equals minus a quarter plus c e to the 4t. OK. So that's what. So we have, you know what y is now? And now we want to go back to find x. So x equals p y. That's what we said. So x equals p times y. So p was 3 minus 1, 1, 1. 3 minus 1, 1, 1. And y is, is a e to the minus 16 t minus a quarter plus c e to the 40. So what does this come to? It comes to Off. So this was working out to that. So x equals what? So we have three a e to the minus sixteen t minus a quarter plus c e to the 4 t and then we have minus a e to the minus 16 t minus a quarter plus c e to the 4 t okay you can write that in a nicer way or I will write that in a nicer way so that's like you just have you have a e to the minus 16t times by 3 minus 1 and then you have plus c e to the 4t times by 1 1 the other eigenvector actually and then you have minus a quarter times 1 1 okay that's the solution I'm not going to bother to check it. I mean, I checked all the stuff during that, it's probably fine. <laughs>